Redemption? Never really thought that much about it. Redemption? Redemption. Redemption. No, I, uh, I don't know what this uh, means, redemption. Well, the redemption is that when we die, we're gonna... What do you know about redemption? Uh, it's um, something we have to believe for the future. No, that's gonna, that's gonna happen. Redemption? Yeah. Um, what do I know about it? Yeah. Um, Did I what? The redemption. The redemption? Yeah. Of oh, the redemption on the uh, the merchandise, the sodas, is that what you mean? Do you know something about the redemption? Redemption? Mm-hmm. Redemption is very critical. Yes, I've heard of what uh, people who, who, who believe in him will be, I guess, saved. I believe that's what you mean by redemption? Well, it's, I mean, I, there's several different ways I, I would, I, I guess I could explain it. Um, I guess one way of explaining redemption, what would be um, a good explanation for that? It, uh... Well, the redemption is that when we die, we're gonna, uh, uh, I guess we gotta, we gotta answer to uh, the sins that we, uh, we have committed. Redemption. I don't understand. You don't understand. understand. What would be the difference between this world and the world of redemption? My hope is that there is complete peace. That is all that I can put my trust in, is that the world that God creates when we are all redeemed and have experienced God's love for us and understand it and know God's love is that there will be ultimately peace among the nations that ultimately belong under God's reign. The world at the time of the redemption when, 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 when the Messiah is here on earth will be a peace of harmony. Uh, what we see today in terms of murders and adultery and stealing and, and greed and jealousy and uh, just this harmony will disappear. Uh, man men will walk together work together we will we will function as brothers uh, we will be in harmony with animals animals will not attack man man will not attack animals um, one remembers the verse of the of the child handling the snake uh, the lion laying with the lamb uh, the time of redemption will be the time where God's mission for man will have been fulfilled and this will allow his presence to dwell among us and there will be goodness and there will be peace and there will be joy thank you the redemption of the jewish people will be coming very soon as it's brought down in scripture that we will be redeemed and the appointed times have passed and the Jewish people have suffered long and hard, and very soon the Messianic redemption will occur, and we'll all be in Yerushalayim, in Jerusalem, in the house of Hashem, and we will be able to see the light of Hashem, and all the peoples of the world will benefit. And that means uh, the redemption is not only for the Jewish people, it's for the entire world, for they'll all realize the greatness of Hashem. And the Jewish people have been chosen by Hashem to be the leaders in the redemption, but not leaders in the sense of making others their slaves, but leaders in direction to do good, to want good, and to further the purpose of creation. That means spiritual leaders. That's correct. Redemption will be a moment when all Jews will feel like they finally came home. Um, and that uh, the Rebbe says that all the aggravation and suffering throughout the ages will become clear to us and transformed into good.
And you think the redemption is only for the Jewish people? No, it's for the whole world. The redemption for the rest of the world will be a relief. There'll be no more poverty, no more war, no more dictators, no more persecution. The physical world will start to reveal the tremendous wealth within it. For example, the first day before Adam and Chava ate from the uh, uh, forbidden fruit, all you had to do was plant a seed in the ground, and the same day a tree would grow and a fruit would grow, and you'd be able to eat the same day. And that's the true nature of the world. Afterwards, the, the nature of the world became corrupted. So now we have to go through a whole planting cycle, we have to go through droughts, we have to go through tornadoes, uh, bugs, insects, none of this will occur anymore. The, the nations of the world will see the enormous wealth found within the world and they'll be at rest as a result. The um, gold, gold will be plenty, food will be plenty, everything will be plenty. It will be an enormous, an enormous uh, relief and uh, I'm sure there'll be a certain sense of ecstasy amongst the non-Jewish people. Redemption, like many other things, has two levels to me. That's the redemption inside and the redemption that everybody can see out in the world. I like to think that when there is redemption, we're still going to, I'm still going to get up, up in the morning, daven, eat breakfast, study, and go to work. I uh, could, this may all be happening in Israel. Maybe not. I think there's different opinions on that among the Talmudic authorities. Um, different stages also in redemption. Exactly when everybody's going to go to Israel. Redemption is, in the Hebrew word, is Mashiach, is Geula. Redemption has to do with the, with the fact that the Jewish people are staying in exile for the last almost 2,000 years, 1,900 years. And Hashem, God, was promised, promised to the Jewish people that one day uh, He'll get us back to where we really belong to in in, in, in physical and in spiritual. Uh, redemption from what? Uh, how do I understand that? Redemption to, as I said before, the Jewish people are the chosen people and they should look like uh, a chosen people. Uh, it, a lot, it has to do a lot with the Redeemer, with the Mashiach in Hebrew, that is, that is a person <coughs> that will put the Jewish people in the right place by teaching them, first of all, that they are still in exile, out of, out of the country, out of uh, Israel, and uh, they should uh, behave according to the Torah. And this is what the Lubavitcher Rebbe has been doing for the last 50 years. Redemption means to be totally free to serve our God and our Torah. It means to be one with Hashem, that there's nothing in our way and nothing inhibiting our relationship with God and our Holy Torah. That is redemption. Mashiach will come, the exile will no longer inhibit us, will no longer hold us back from expressing our relationship with God and being one with Hashem.